In this episode of I Tried It, I use this gift card to try and make $2 every 10 minutes. Watch this entire video to figure out exactly what I'm talking about, how much money I made, and if you should try this opportunity. Hi, my name is Alston Godvolt with AlstonGodvolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pockets. And if you want to be added to the globe, comment down below with your city, state, zip code, province, or country and I'll get you pinned. All right, so as I mentioned in this episode of I Tried It, I try and make money with this gift card. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, Alston, why are you using a gift card in order to try and make money online? Well, with this opportunity that the original content creator talked about, you have to spend money to try and make money. So what he recommends that we do is we go over to this website called apptoad.com, and if you look at my screen here, you're gonna scroll down all the way to where it says earn money, and you're simply going to download these apps to your phone or computer, which I did in my case, in order to make money. Now, first things first, this website, these apps only work on Android devices. So what I had to do is I had to download an emulator for my my iMac, my computer. Um, I downloaded, it's called Bluestacks. I had to download it and then install these different applications. Let's go ahead and talk about why I had to spend money to make money. In order to use these apps, in order to attempt to make money with these apps, you have to actually go out and you have to pay to play. You have to pay to compete against other people. Now, each one of these apps have two options. They have a free where you just kind of play it just to play it, and then you have a paid version where you actually will pay in a pot in order to compete against somebody else. And you'll have to keep paying until you make money back or you decide to, to stop playing. So what I decided to do is I decided to go out and get this gift card. This gift card has $50 on it. And so I downloaded a bunch of these different applications. I spent about, about $49 with this in order to make any money. Now, in general, I am not a huge fan of pay to play. If you are going to spend money on something to try and make money online, I'm gonna give you a few suggestions and a few ideas which I think will work out better in the long run. I'm not a big fan at all of having to spend money in order to pay to play and hope to make money out later. I think it's just a bad investment in general, but I digress. So what I did is I actually downloaded Fruit Blaster Master, as you can see, I downloaded Free Cell Solitaire, I downloaded Space Shooter Star Squadron, I down downloaded four games in total, and I tried to play them. First things first, in order to get your feet of, on the ground with these games, with any games, you want to try and practice, you want to try and get some idea of what the purpose of the game is, which I did, which took obviously longer than 10 minutes, so I can tell you that it takes much more than 10 minutes to earn $2 because you wanna try and practice to win. Once you're ready to play, there's different levels. So you can try and play for like $4 an entry. You can try and play for $2 an entry. There's different levels depending on the competitive nature and the actual application. And so I spent a good three hours trying to get any money, trying to make any money from this opportunity. And it was tough. Okay, it was very, very tough. You can tell there are some people that spend a lot of time playing these games, and I imagine that they're making something, but the other issue is, is you have to win a lot and spend a lot of time on these different apps to at least break even. And unfortunately, it wasn't something that I was able to do. In my time and the money that I spent when I went and got the card and, and tried to play these games, I didn't make any money. I lost money, in fact, and so I lost the, the $50 gift card that I originally invested. I made pennies back, and the pennies back aren't enough to actually withdraw money. So ultimately, unfortunately, I didn't make any money with this opportunity. It was not enough to withdraw, so it was quite frankly a waste of three hours. I, I think that there are better opportunities when it comes to spending money, and what I wanna do is I wanna quickly talk about some of those opportunities. Uh, one thing that I think you could do instead of spending $50 to pay to play, because most people don't have $50 just to throw around, you could actually go out and get a, a wireless lavalier microphone to create content. You could go out, spend $16, and you'd still have uh, $30 in your pocket 
get a good microphone and you can create TikTok videos or YouTube videos or you know whatever type of videos you want and you can drive traffic, you can create content and drive traffic where you want them to go. So for $16, which is a much better investment than wasting your time trying to play games, you could have a, 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 a thing that you can use that will pay you again and again and again. You could use this to start a podcast. You can use this, like I said, to create a variety of content, and this is going to be a much better use of your time. Another thing that you could buy is actually a webcam. You can see this webcam is $39 and it comes with a microphone. So if you wanted to create TikTok videos, you could do that. This web webcam I have here, which I used to use to make YouTube videos, is now like 50 bucks and it, it's 4K and it comes with a microphone. This is going to be a much better investment for your money. If you have $50 to spend, which a lot of people claim that they don't, and I can understand that, you're, you don't want to spend money trying to make it back by playing games. Invest in a, your business. The best way to invest in your business is by getting something that is you can use again and again and again. If you use this, this webcam 39 times, it basically pays for itself. Again, so you find a, a piece of equipment that's going to help you create content, whether it's a microphone or a webcam, and then you create content and that content can pay you. That's a much better opportunity. Another thing that you could do is you could go out and start a website. You can see that uh, starting a WordPress website, you can start for $4.95 per month. That is all better opportunities. Another thing you could do with your 50 bucks is you could learn Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok ads for free, and then invest the $50 into making your money back by running ads. You can run ads for as little as like $5 per day on Facebook. And so if you learn a skill and then implement that skill, you can make much more money than wasting $50 on, on this silly website. I do not think that anybody should be doing pay to play. Another option would be take that $50 and go buy a used video game. If you want to make money playing video games, go take the 50 bucks go over to a website like uh, GameStop or EB Games, whatever is out there these days, or eBay, buy a gently used game, play that game and create content around that game. There are so many people on the internet that want to learn about how to do different things in video games, that's gonna be a much better way. For example, we know that uh, NFL Men 24, 25 just came out, and there are tons of people that are looking for information on how to do things in that video game. For example, if we go over to YouTube, we, we type in how to underscore in Madden 24, you can see, People are asking how to celebrate in Madden 24. The top result, 91,000 views. The second result, 6.2 thousand views. Look at this third, fourth result right here. Only has 1,000 subscribers, 283 views, and he's simply creating content about a video game that just came out. And this is something that is going to pay you much more in the long run. Most likely this person is monetized by the YouTube Partner Program. If we look at the videos here, a lot of his content, all of his content is about Madden 24, where he's playing the video game. He's monetized most likely, and so all of these videos are making him money. Now, it could be 38 cents here, 45 cents there, but I'm sure he's making more than the $50 that I or you would waste trying to do this, this uh, website. So if you wanna make money playing video games, there are much better offers, uh, much better opportunities. Again, go out, spend 20 bucks, buy a decent microphone. You can get a webcam for 39. In fact, if you did the math, that probably puts you right over 50 bucks. Then you can create content about newest video games, or you can create content about um, old video games, nostalgia, people playing Super Mario Brothers and talking about Super Mario Brothers. This is going to be a much better way than trying to make money by spending money on ads that don't have any long-term value. The only way you're gonna make money is you're gonna to have to keep investing and spending money that you may or may not have. And in my opinion, this is one of the worst ways to try and make money. I put this below doing surveys. I put this actually below watching YouTube ads for making money because at the very least, you're not spending money doing those. With this, you are actually wasting money. Now, again, it's $3 here, $4 there, $5 um, depending on the level but I don't, I don't think that this is worth your time. So 
Don't do this method. If you want to try and make money playing video games, find the new video games that come out. New video games come out every single month, basically. Invest in maybe invest in a decent microphone and then create content around that video game. Going to be a much better way. And there are so many instances of this happening. Um, for example, we could take a look at the new video games. And so once we find a video game that we're interested in, we can create content around that new video game. For example, uh, Game Informer has a list of new video games for 2024. We can scroll down, uh, find one. So these are all listed by, by month. We can come back up to, we're in 2023. Anyway, <laughs> it, it, we can scroll through. Let's say we want to create um, Tekken 8. This is a game that I think a lot of people are going to be talking about. We could go out and create content about Tekken 8. So uh, we can do Tekken 8 like this. And people are asking about the gameplay. They're asking about all sorts of stuff. And if you create content at this level, you can get in front of people that are interested in this new video game. You can do this, look at this, 4.7 4 thousand views, 21,000 subscribers. You can see people are doing this. Look at this right here, 1.96 thousand subscribers. So less than 2,000 subscribers, 14,000 views, and he's creating content about Tekken 8. So you don't have to be a large YouTuber for this to work. If you wanted to, you could go over to TikTok and create content about Tekken 8 or any video game. And this is gonna be a much better use of your time than trying to uh, make money by spending money on ads. So again, we type in Tekken 8 over on TikTok, um, 2.9 million views, 459,000 views. And the way that I would approach it is I would talk about gameplay footage. I would talk about uh, what to expect. I would also do new, uh, rumors, truth and rumors, talk about um, things that have disappointed you, compare Tekken 8, to maybe uh, Mortal Kombat or any other fighting games out there. And you can see that this is a much better opportunity. So once again, for the third or fourth time, don't waste your time trying to make $2 every 10 minutes. You're gonna be making pennies. Most likely you'll lose money. If anything, you're gonna be making pennies where with creating content, unique original content, you'll actually have the opportunity to make dollars, hundreds of dollars, if you are consistent and persistent. Now that you know that this process will not work for you, watch this video next because it will actually help you start an online business.